All right, Tony Gaffney, day one summer league. How nice is it for you to get back into some NBA competition? Uh, it's great. I mean, this is the best league in the world, and every player here is here for a reason, and it's because they want to play at this level. Um, yeah, overseas is nice, and, and you know, it, it, it's a great experience, but every, like I said, all of us are here for one reason, and that's to play at the NBA level. Uh, it was a good start. Everyone got their feet wet today. We had a great week of camp before this, and uh, you know we have a group of guys that are excited to be here and want to work hard. And uh, I think, you know, as the days go on, tomorrow you'll see us play a little better, and by Wednesday we'll probably be flowing at a better rate. And but today was a good start. You know, you're kind of one of the veteran guys. Been around a little bit was with the Lakers, with the with the Celtics. You kind of know what you're supposed to do at the NBA level. How much are you kind of a veteran influence for these guys? Um. I try to be vocal in the locker room, you know, during during camp, uh, making sure guys are talking on defense. Uh, you know, this is my third summer league, so I've, you know, I've seen it all from the D League to the NBA to overseas. Um, so, you know, anytime any of the guys have any questions or need help with anything, I'm, you know, I am, I guess, quote unquote, getting a little older. I don't feel it though, but, uh, you know, so I mean, it's it's nice to have that little veteran label according to the summer league thing. You know, for you, it's always been, Tony, you've made the team, but, Tony, you're going to be on, but. When is it not going to be Tony, but? Do you think it's this year? Uh, I got a feeling. Hopefully, uh, you know, I'll do some things, and, you know, after today, I'll grow a little bit and play a little better tomorrow and do some things that impress some people. And uh, I, I'm, I just go out there, have fun, support my teammates, and try to do whatever it takes to win. Unfortunately, we were on the short end today, but. Uh, uh, you know, I think my time's coming, and uh, you know, I can do a lot of things, different things to help a team. I don't need a score to play well and help a team. Uh, you know, and hopefully, there's teams taking note of that. You know, you had a phenomenal season in Germany. You get make the All Star team over there. Was it nice to be able to play a full season, stay healthy, have some success, and maybe validate some of the hard work? Yeah, and, and, and it allowed me to work on a lot of things that I wouldn't, had, uh, couldn't work on. Even when I was in Boston, you know, uh, it allowed me uh, to come out of that role player mentality and, uh, you know, work on different things and, and, you know, get into a flow of a system and, and, and play with one group, of one group or a team for a whole season uh, was a big step in my career, I think, because, uh, you know, like I said, I was able to enhance my game in, in aspects that, you know, maybe I wouldn't have been able to if I was anywhere else. So that, the, the beginning of the lockout ended up being more of a blessing in disguise for me. What has Utah said to you? What are they looking from you? Um, honestly, I haven't really, uh, you know, I, I leave all that stuff up to my agent. My, my job is just to play, and uh, that's what I've been trying to do for the last uh, three or four days. And, you know, we'll, we'll let the rest speak for itself, and I'm just going to play and have a good time.